Alright, so this is a battle song tutorial for the Helix. That was the move that you just saw a few times. It's a pretty flashy looking move, and uh, it's not too terribly hard to do. Uh, what this move consists of is, consists of is three rollovers, one around your thumb, one around your index finger below your hand, and then a second roll around your thumb to make three rolls. Um, this move, it may look very difficult uh, to some beginners, but uh, just letting you guys know, I learned this move basically the second or third day that I had a knife. I got to be, I got to be okay at this move. I wasn't as good as I am now at it, but um, I could do the move. All right, so don't just skip over this uh, tutorial. Um, I guess you, before you should start trying this move, you should know the Zen rollover. All right. Uh, I'll give you a link to that right here. Um, the Zen rollover, uh, just uh, you can hold either handle. It's just a horizontal rollover, and uh, you're gonna be using it basically twice in this move. And you're gonna have to know how to do a wrist pass. That's part of the Zen rollover where you go like that. All right. So, uh, anyways, that's enough talking. And I'll get into the tutorial of it. So you base off, basically start off holding the uh, bite handle. And you're going to do a horizontal roll over your thumb. Okay? So you're going to catch the hand, uh, safe handle. But uh, see how I have my uh, index finger in here? What I'm going to do is I'm not going to have that in there when I catch it. Alright? So I'm going to catch it without... Sorry, one more time. I'm going to catch it without my uh, index finger, it's up here, and then I'm going to do a wrist pass. Alright, so it's going to come around here, and then it's going to come back up. When it's come back up, I'm going to put my index finger uh, here between the safe handle and bite handle. Alright, so here, let's go over that again. So, uh, it's going around, catch, wrist pass, it's right here. Alright, now I'm going to roll around my index finger. Alright, so it's going to roll around my index finger, the bite handle is going to pass, the blade's going to pass, and when the safe handle is coming, what I'm going to do right here is I want to make this smooth, so I'm going to take my thumb, I'm going to try to put it and touch it to my index finger, and it's going to take the place of my index finger. My index finger is going to come out. Alright, so it's going to come right here, and then uh, the momentum of the knife is going to keep going. Alright, so let's start from the beginning again. Here we go. It's rolling around. Catch. Index finger out. Wrist pass. When I do that, it's going to roll around. Bite handle is going to pass. Blade's going to pass. Going to come in right here. This is the trickiest part. Try to think of touching your thumb to your index finger. It's going to come up here. Your thumb is going to go in and your index is going to go out. So your index is in, your thumb's going to go up there and push out the index. And then you're going to do a roll over. This is basically just the Zen roll over around. All right? So it's going to go around your thumb. Bite handle is going to pass. And then once you get right about here, you're going to grab and then do another wrist pass. Okay? Um, if you can't do a wrist pass, you're gonna cut yourself on this move. All right, you're gonna do, you're gonna do the move, and the blade's gonna come down. It's gonna hit you right there. All right, so learn, go learn the Zen rollover. You haven't already learned it. Get the wrist pass down so you don't cut yourself. All right. Um. So basically, you got the basics of the move. I like to do the whole move, horizontal, and then horizontal, and then horizontal. I like every rollover to be horizontal in this move, okay? Uh, sometimes when you're starting off, maybe you want to do like a Y2K and then go like that, all right? So maybe you want to do a Y2K, which is vertical, obviously, and then come around and then finish with horizontal stuff. Um, I like keeping the whole move horizontal because it's a momentum-based move, all right? So when you have everything horizontal, the momentum just flows from one move to another. See, it's just there, and then keeps going there, and there. 
Alright, it's... I like having it all horizontal. You can change everything up, though. Like, you could do a horizontal beginning, and then the next part you can do, I don't know, you could do a diagonal up here. And then another one you can do a diagonal. I mean, it's just your preference. You do what you like and what you think looks good. Sometimes what you like uh, as, as feel may not look as good as you want it to. I think all horizontal feels good and looks good. Alright? Um, when I was first learning it, I felt that it was easier to do a Y2K. Sorry about that. When I, when I was first learning, I felt it easier to do a Y2K and then finish the move. But uh, I think overall, in the end, you're going to be better off starting with the Zen so it all stays horizontal. Okay? Um, what else should I tell you guys? A lot of the times when you're uh, learning this move, you're going to come in here and you're going to get that and that and you're going to pause right here. You're going to want to grip it with your thumb and index. You want to grip it like that and then you're going to continue it. I see a lot of people do that. Even some some pretty respectable flippers, they uh, they get the first and second roll and they pause here and then they go. Uh, it looks bad. Um, it does not look good to stop like that. Alright, so you're going to want to practice on making it all flow. You don't want to pause before that third roll. Alright, um, some ways to do that is you just got to, when you initiate the second roll, make sure that all that's around the bow song is just your index, index finger. Sometimes it might fall off, but uh, it just kind of, it that's fine. It, practice over a bed, practice over something that's not going to hurt your bow song. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to hurt my bow song, it's expensive. Um, so, make sure that all that's touching it is just your index finger. And then make sure not to totally, if you have to grip it a little bit, then grip it a little bit. But, you really just want to get your thumb in as your index finger is going out. Alright, um, uh, the helix, you can skip the first roll. Like, uh, you can come into the helix a few different ways. Uh, I guess it's not the... The real helix then, but uh, it's helix-like. So you can do like a double roll out and then do that. Double roll out, index roll to the thumb roll. Um, you could keep doing the helix. It can be an endless move. So you get here and then uh, don't pause like I just did. I'm just trying to do it slow. And then you're coming around to do the to do the wrist pass to finish, but just do a wrist pass and put that right there, and then keep doing the move. Right? That looked pretty bad, but I'm uh, not trying <laughs> super hard right now. I'm just filming a tutorial. So, uh, but you can do this move endlessly. All right. Um, it's a pretty nice move. Uh, uh, you guys can go into it. Just you know my fan rollover. Uh, you can go into it with a fan rollover and then do the helix. You know the first roll have it be a fan rollover instead of a normal zen rollover. Um, I think that's all I can really think of right now, but, um, uh, it's a really staple move. Uh, this is a move that you want to learn if you're thinking about being serious about flipping. And, uh, I hope this helps you guys out, anybody that can't figure out the helix, and there you guys go.